I recently came to use my Passat after it being parked for a few hours and found there was an error coming up on the dashboard and that the car wouldn't move. Essentially the rear parking brake had locked on and whether trying to press the button or trying to drive off it wouldn't release at all. Unfortunately there was no way around it so I had to park the car up overnight. In order to resolve the problem you need to remove the wheel. You can then undo the bolts that hold the motor to the back of the caliper, remove the motor and rewind the caliper manually so that it's no longer clamped on to the brake disc. You can then disconnect the lead that powers up the motor and it will allow you to be able to drive the car. If you find you have got the issue with the electric parking brake locking on then the chances are that it's the motor on the caliper that is at fault. Um, you can also have a problem with the button that is inside the car but generally that won't cause the handbrake to lock on that will cause um, just an error message um, and potentially it not actually going on at all. So there are two Torx bolts that hold the motor onto the caliper. So you need to remove those and then remove the lead that goes to it and you'll then be able to remove the motor from the caliper. You can see here the spline which is what actually turns the um, caliper to put the electric brake on and off and if this has locked the caliper on so you can't actually drive the car then you can actually use an M8 spline to be able to turn the caliper manually so that it releases the handbrake from the car and you will then be able to drive the car. You can then put this back on but not connect the lead into it which will allow you to actually use the car. You will get an error message on the dashboard but it will allow you to use the car. So once you've got the uh, motor off then one option that you have is to either replace the whole caliper and motor as one unit or as I've done you can buy a replacement motor and fit that. Um, the one I bought actually comes with new screws, new bolts, and these ones are starting to burr a little bit so it was uh, a good idea to replace them. Now the motor I bought was an absolute bargain. So in the UK it was around £220 for the caliper with the motor included or I could buy the motor off eBay for £10. So £10 versus £220, I thought I'd give it a go, there was nothing really to lose. So in order to refit the new one, it's a, a case of, again, remove this from the caliper using the two bolts to undo it, remove the lead and you can then put the new one on. What you will probably find is that when your new one is on it doesn't immediately clear the error. I found on mine it took a few days before that actually happened and even with clear clearing the error codes on VCDS it still left the error coming up on the dashboard which I think was down to the fact that the um, motor took a few goes to actually work out the distance that it needed to turn the handbrake the yeah, the handbrake in order to put it on and off um, and then some calibration involved which in a brand new caliper would all be set up but because I turned it manually in order to release it the um, motor was a little bit confused but like I say took a couple of days and the error message went off of its own accord and it's now working perfectly so it's a really good job you're able to do without having um, to spend a huge amount of money and quite an easy fix.